It's been dramatic. Uh, my first visit to China was 30 years ago, and it was pretty archaic. Uh, today, 25% uh, of the Chinese population owns dogs, 12% own cats. Most of that uh, pet ownership concentrates in Beijing uh, and, and uh, Shanghai. But the growth has been phenomenal. In fact, it's, it's very quickly been outpacing growth in many other countries. And why do you think we've seen such a jump in, in pet ownership in China? Well, number one, you've seen uh, the average income uh, of spendable income in the Chinese household increase. Uh, pets have been elevated to baby status, uh, not only here in the U.S., but also in China. And people, uh, as pets grow and with the undying love that pets give uh, pet parents, uh, money is no object, and they'll spend whatever they need to spend to get that love every day when they come home from work. And it really is hard to put a price on companionship, but in terms of the business opportunities that this growth in the pet industry is having in China, what's out there? Oh, it's, it's growing at leaps and bounds. Uh, last year, or this year, I should say, in the U.S., we're going to see sales in excess of $66 billion. China, in a very short period of time, and I've seen, I've seen figures as low as $3 billion. I tend to believe the higher figure, which is close to $15 billion in sales over the next year or two, is tremendous growth. A lot of that, of course, is dog food. About a third of that total is in dog food, premium foods for their pets, but also in accessories. And when I say accessories, that's everything from dog beds to dog coats and jewelry, and, and obviously in large cities like Shanghai and, and Beijing, uh, small dogs are very popular and easy to take care of. Now, we're also seeing that tech has really opened the door to things like pet wearables, you have um, service-related apps. How valuable is the role of technology also in what we're seeing in some of these pet-related products and services? Well, it's becoming uh, ever more uh, important as the industry continues to grow. I currently am involved with a company that offers a coin-operated dog wash, so consumers can go in and wash their own dog uh, themselves as opposed to a groomer. It's not replacing groomers, but giving people a chance to wash their dog uh, between uh, grooming appointments. Uh, but that the service area is exploding not only in grooming, but in dog walking and in, in the poop patrols uh, to clean up after pets and all the other things. Veterinarians uh, have seen record uh, revenues grow as pets get older and people want to take care of them. So all the service levels, all of the growth of retail, uh, there's nothing that's not selling. Right now, dog food and treats are the highest growing categories. Uh, and if you walk into most pet stores, uh, you see ever-expanding categories in, in both of those two areas. Now, China also hosts a number of adoption services. They also have a lot of these international pet shows. What sort of role does that play in terms of consumer attractiveness and also for the advertisers who are trying to reach the masses? Well, it's a very important role because as we advertise uh, the benefits of pets and, and all of the products that are available, uh, people become more aware of them and they want to make sure they give the best and the, and the greatest and the latest to their own pets. And so the shows, uh, the Asian shows, have become very uh, popular. Uh, there's a lot of manufacturers. Alibaba has uh, really made a big difference in the online business in China. Uh, what's interesting to me, I just saw a statistic that I wanted to make sure we quoted. Uh, right now, 38% of uh, Chinese households are ordering dog food online. And that's uh, significantly higher than the households here in the U.S. Uh, and that's an area that's growing dramatically as well. And we know that Alibaba is really trying to crack down on some of the counterfeit goods as people do turn to e-commerce. So given some of the challenges and also the, the positives of pet ownership and the growth that we're seeing in China, what's your outlook for the market there? Well, you know, the prediction is rosy. Uh, here in the U.S., with a mature pet market, we're still growing in many categories at 20 percent a year. We expect that number to increase in China even more. Uh, as people become more aware of the benefits of being a pet parent at any level. And everybody that has a pet loves a different type of pet. 
uh, because everybody loves something, whether it's a snake owner or a reptile owner, small animal owner, uh, guinea pigs or, or dogs or cats or birds. Everybody has that passion. I've been in the pet industry for 49 years, living my passion, and I can tell you there hasn't been a day in my entire career that I haven't looked forward to going to work or being involved in the pet industry worldwide.